Ryan, how is a structured product different from an exchange traded note? So structured products, um, by virtue of the fact that they reference, or many of them reference offshore indices in South Africa, um, have to be listed because that is a SAAB requirement. It says um, if you're referencing offshore assets, the issuer of that particular instrument needs to list them um, for exchange control reporting purposes. So if you look and take a step back, your exchange traded product universe is made up of ETFs and ETNs, which are principally the same um, sort of instrument in the sense that they are what we call Delta One, which means for every move uh, on the upside or every move on the downside, you um, wear that risk and there's generally no term restriction. The third component of that ETP um, universe is the structured note. And there you take on both issuer credit risk, just like you would if you had bought an ETN, but the payoff profile is vastly different. And the term structure comes into it in the sense that if an ETN is for every one up, you go up, for every one down, you go down, with a structured note, that's very different. You're generally finding a structured note would come out with some sort of capital protection component to it to protect you from market downsides. Or if you were super bullish, you could try and uh, ascertain some sort of upside gearing, like three or four times the first 20% of the market, something along those lines. So ETNs and ETFs are Delta One structured products, or what I would call non-linear, in that they are not a one-up, one one-down uh, scenario. 